basic animation in Create.js. How to draw a circle using Easel.js. Produced by Lon Hosford. This video uses Easel.js to draw a circle on the HTML5 canvas element. The fundamental concepts for drawing in Easel.js are covered in a previous video. The files and updated links used in this video are found in the video description. This is the finished HTML file for this tutorial displayed as a web page. The rectangle is the HTML5 canvas and the red circle is drawn using Easel.js. This is the index.html file found in the start folder and saved in the practice folder as index.html. This file is a basic shell for using CreateJS and the details are covered in a previous video. We want to draw a red circle in a shape and display that on the Easel.js stage. We need the begin fill, draw circle, and end fill methods from the Easel.js graphics class. To start, we need a variable for the shape object. Make the scope the same as the stage object and name it sunshape. We can instantiate the sunshape object in the init method after the stage object is instantiated. First, we can remove the alert, the variable, equal to new operator, the create.js namespace, and the shape constructor. To draw the circle, you use the sunshape object's graphics property, the variable again, the graphics property. To define the fill color, use the begin fill method. Use red and complete. This sets the fill color for all subsequent drawing in the sunshape object. Next, we can use the draw circle method from the graphics class shape object and its graphics property again, the draw circle method. There are three arguments for the draw circle method, the X position, the Y position, and the radius. Use zero for the X position, same for the Y, and the radius of 25 pixels. This creates a circle with a 50 pixel diameter. As a result, three quarters of the circles in the shape's negative space. EaselJS shapes do not clip the graphics layer so the circle will be fully visible when the shape is fully visible. To prevent the fill from being applied to additional drawing, we use the end fill method. We do not have more drawing to do, but this is a good practice. Start with the shape object, its graphics object, the end fill method, and it has no arguments. In EaselJS, all display objects need to be added to an EaselJS container object. The container class has the add child method for this purpose. The top CreateJS container class is the stage, so we'll add the shape to the stage. The add child method, and the argument is our shape, and complete. By default, the x and y position is zero in a container class like stage. Although the shape is now a child of the stage, we will not see it. We need to instruct the stage object to redraw itself. To do that, we use the stage class update method. The update method does not have arguments. Start with the stage object and the update method. Now let's test what we have so far in the web browser. Although the shape appears to be partially off the stage, it is positioned at x0 and y0 on stage. Because 3 quarters of the circle is in the shape's negative space, you might think the shape is positioned off stage. We have two options to get the circle to appear completely on stage. We can change the x and y values of the draw circle method to 25, or we can use the shape class x and y properties to move the shape. And that's what we will do. First, the name of the shape the X property, set to 25, and the shape again, the Y property, also 25, refresh in the web browser. Now you see the entire contents of the shape. The shape is positioned at 25X and Y on the stage. The circle is still at 0X and Y within the shape. Try experimenting with different values for the draw circle method the fill color, and the position of the shape. Thank you for watching.